Thank you. Uh, uh, what is the writing process for you? How do you go about writing a song? I mean, it's always different. Uh, with Hit the Ground Running, the first song we played, it was actually, it was the, the, the sentence that kept on following me. Like, I, I was hearing it everywhere for a year. Like, everyone, whether it was on TV or whether it was people talking to me, I was just like, okay, this needs to become a song. And um, when, when, I was, when I got rejected from all these labels, um, that's basically when it started. That, and I thought, okay, you know what? Instead of waiting for opportunities to happen, I'm just gonna take this, make my own opportunities. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take fate into my own hands, I guess, and, and just start my own label. And so that's what inspired that, or with, with Jealousy. I mean, that took me seven months to write. And uh, it, was, it was such a long process. It was really one of those songs where you had to pull out of yourself. And so it, each song is different. So if it took you seven months to write Jealousy, what was the first bit? What was the first thing? Was it the chord change? Was it the lyric? I think it was the sentence, a bright blue sky is what I used to see, but my vision's been torn after all that's been. So that was the first line that kind of appeared in my head. And then it was the chords. And then lyric by lyric kind of came within the week, uh, within like weeks and I was just, I was stuck on it for so long because I needed like, it was three sentences that I still needed and I just, yeah, at some point they came, but it took a very long time. You want to get it right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. important. Yeah. Um, I, the, the versions that are out on YouTube of you playing that song on the piano, I mean, it's like, I mean, this is obviously more, a bit more up-tempo and more produced, but even on that level of just you on the piano is incredible. It's a very powerful song. Thank you song. so much. Wow. Um, so let's, talk about No Roots for a minute. How did that song come about? Um, well, with that song, I'd been collecting lines for, for about a year. Um, the first line I collected was, um, I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground because I was visiting my parents in England. Uh, and this was after we'd moved 12 times. This was like the 12th move. <laughs> and I just, I was sitting at the beach and I was like, I love it here, but this isn't my home. And I thought back to Germany. I'm like, that's not really my home either. And in Canada, I mean, I hadn't been there in a long time in the US. I mean, we were only here for like a year or two. Um, and so I was just having difficulty really f finding a place I called home. Um, and then I realized to myself, I'm like, you know what? Your home has never been in that one place. It's always been with people who you love. Um, and that's okay. Cause I was actually feeling very depressed about that fact of not really belonging anywhere. Um, and so I, I told myself that and I needed a song that was upbeat. I, t I went into the studio to my producer and I said, you know what? I want to call the song No Roots. I want to have like a hooligan choir chant roots. Um, and I want it to be upbeat so that every time I sing it, I remind myself that it's okay that I've moved around a lot and that I, I don't need to have a certain place that's my home. That's fantastic. I was going to ask where, what's home, but I think you just answered it. 